And my name is Megan, and I'm the other co-president of the Drama Club. Before we start the show, there are a few things you want to make you aware of. First, we ask you please turn off all your cell phones, especially for mobile users, as the FTC has sold rights from this line to T-Mobile, so if your phone goes off, you could interfere with the microphone. So we ask that everyone turn their phones on airplane Secondly, please stay clear in the aisles, as they will have dancers moving through them, so only get out of your seat during scene changes. Also, we'd like to ask you to pause after Act 1 because there will be a brief announcement from a representative for Gifts for Garnet Valley to talk about how their program works and how you can help. There are a few people we'd like to thank before the show starts. Starting off with Ms. Starter, Mrs. Thomas, Ms. Dina, Mr. Fraser, Ms. Greco, for all their help in our production, as well as Mr. Huber, Mr. Toner, Mr. Fan, Ms. Somerset, all the set designs and all the costume moms, and everyone who's helped us along the way. And there may be some fog effects used, but they will just be water vapor, so please um, know that you will not get any allergic reactions from them. And finally, I'm Annie. And I'm Megan, and you're watching Disney's High School Musical on Stage! The show is written for the stage, so there may be many things that are a little different from the movie that we all know and love. And we all can't exactly uh, create the movie magic. But don't worry, all your favorite moments will be set up on stage and better than ever. Please be respectful to all actors on and off stage. The cast and crew has worked uh, extremely hard on putting together the best production possible, and we ask for respect. Cheering, clapping, and appropriate laughter is encouraged. Um, only enter and leave the auditorium during scene changes or an omission. We will be filming the performances, so loud door noises or talking in the back rows will be picked up by the equipment. Um, there will be a video playing during intermission of our dance captains teaching the dance to We're All Together. So, just a reminder, uh, or I should say a warning, anyone can be pulled from the stage uh, to dance with us in the, our finale. So, you might want to learn that. Uh, don't take any photos or videos during the performance, especially with the flash, don't do that. Uh, the performance will be on YouTube, so you can see that. Uh, there will be snacks and drinks available for purchase during intermission, as well as kiss the cast, candy grams, and flowers to send your favorite class castmates or characters with a message to accompany them. Uh, please keep food and drink outside of the auditorium. Our students don't work uh, and uh, extremely hard to keep this place clean. Just like all you guys are already struggling enough with the students, so please try and keep it all out. Um, actors uh, will be outside in costume immediately following the show to take pictures and greet audience members. However, it's only for a short period of time, so our costume staff has worked extremely hard and should not be made to go home late. After getting out of costume, actors are welcomed and encouraged to talk to friends and family. Um, Please be courteous and do not attempt to distract the pit or crew during the performance. Uh, we fully understand that maybe your friends, family, or even your music teachers, but we want to put on the best show possible for everyone that took the time to come out to support GBHS PAA tonight. So mark your calendars for our spring show, Annie, March 7th to 9th, and that's all for now, peeps. Enjoy the production of Annie's High School Musical. Garden <laughs> <laughs> Valley's High School Musical. <laughs>
listen up for the very first morning announcements of the brand new year. This is Jack Scott, the Velvet Fog of Eastside, coming at you with home 411 on what's going down and coming up this week. The signs the Capitol finals will be on Friday, so check out Taylor Learning Curve McKesson from more skinny on the boot. During free period, the AV club will be meeting in room 213 and the science club will be meeting in room 312. Then they'll alternate the schedules and reverse one more time to finish out the winter quarter. The skydiving club will be meeting on the roof deck at 3 p.m. and the first day club will be waiting for them in the parking lot down below. Catch you on the All for now, peeps. But soft, when light through yonder window breaks, it is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief, that thou made art far more fair than she. Thank you. Thank you very much. Once again, they forgot to announce auditions for the winter musicale, Juliet and Romeo, written by our very own Kelsey Nielsen. Kelsey, stand up and take a bow. It's a delicious neo-feminist adaptation of Shakespeare's classic tragedy with three, count of three, tap numbers. By thinking outside the box, Kelsey has brilliantly reimagined a tragedy into a happy one in which the two lovers both live and move to Albuquerque. <laughs> it's simply bursting with sword fights, meddling parents, and teenagers caught in the grips of forbidden love. Well, if you kids can't relate to that, I'll eat my gum. <laughs> singles auditions for our supporting roles and chorus, as well as pairs auditions for our two leads. Mr. Danforth, this is a place of learning, not a football court. Save your bilabial fricatives for someone of your own primitive aesthetic. Once again, as always, the drama club faces a dearth of male participants. So please come out and audition. I am offering you the chance to spread your wings into bold new horizons. I am offering you the timeless allure of the grace paint, the magical power of the Klieg light. Okay. I'm offering you extra credit. Red Hot composer Big, Kelsey Nielsen. 
Sorry, folks. I don't believe it. Me either. Yeah. We just moved here to Albuquerque. I cannot believe you live here, too. I tried to look for you on the lodge on New Year's Day, but... I can't believe first thing. Why are you whispering? What? Oh. Um, well, you see, I told my friends about the snowboarding, but I didn't exactly tell them about the, um, singing. Too much for them to handle? It was cool, but my friends, that's not what I do. Pretty crazy, right? <laughs> Meeting up again like this? I was gonna call you, like, a bunch of times, and, uh, well... <laughs> and? You know, I, um... You chickened out. Kinda. Cool. Now that you met Darby's the Deranged, I'll bet you can't wait to sign up for the musical. Oh, I won't be signing up for it. I've been here for a while. I just want to get to know the school, but if you signed up, I consider coming to the show. That's completely impossible. I wouldn't think impossible it's even in your vocabulary, Troy. So nice of you to show our new classmate around. Troy is such a sweetheart, isn't he? He's the star of the basketball team, just like I'm the star of the drama club. Are we having lunch together, Troy? Oh, look, send us for the musical. Get my head in the game. I gotta get my 
you. Kiss today, goodbye. <gasps> Sorry. And point me towards attention. So all you evil doers better get your butts to the theater immediately or face the wrath of Darby's the Merciless. This is Jack Scott signing off. Yes, my brave little detention menagerie. We thespians often use animals to build the characters we play. Be the bear, be the ostrich, be the monkey. Chum, chum, chum now, explore. Ryan, do you want to be an ostrich? Totally. Ryan. Yeah, it, it's okay. Ostriches are cool, I guess. For Sharpay, maybe, but what about for you? For me? Yes, unless you want to live the rest of your life in the shadow of your sister's ostrich. <laughs> the answer is yes, huh? With credentials like these, we'll win for sure. Where did those come from? Didn't you put them in my locker? Of course not. Well, we'd love to have you on the team. We meet almost every day after school. I don't know. I think I need to catch up on the curriculum before I even think about joining any clubs. But what a perfect way to get caught up! Meeting with the smartest kids in school? What a generous offer, Taylor! <laughs> We've never, ever won the decathlon. You can be our answered prayer. Well... Okay, I guess I can do it. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so, quid pro quo. What do you know about Troy Bolton? <laughs> I mean, you don't think doing the musical could be fun? Like, even a little bit? You're a hoop student, not a musical singer person. I wasn't talking about me. No way. Good, because you can expect the rest of us to focus on the game. If you're off somewhere singing, leotards. Whoa, 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 No one said anything about leotards. Maybe not yet, my friend, but you just wait. You are all doing brilliantly, Jake. No idea an earthworm could have such depth, <laughs> such pain. Now, let us all gather around into a circle to experience the magic that is theater. James, let everyone in now. Scooch. Now this is called the ball of noise. The idea is to pass around an invisible ball while making some kind of sound to accompany it. Once passed, the ball can land in any part of your body. And you are only limited by your own imaginations. Go! Do whatever you feel, Troy. Only limited by your own imagination. Excellent work. Oh, now everyone help him before the ball crushes him under his weight. Excellent. Where's my team, Darvis? my detention my way, and you can run yours your way. These students need to be exposed to the arts by any means necessary. You leave a word, and you two, even Jim, now! Wonderful day. Chad 
and Troy are our two star players. You cannot have them in here acting like idiots when they should be at practice. They were not acting like idiots. They were acting like actors. If Troy and Chad were theater performers instead of your little sports stars, would you seek preferential treatment for them? I think not. We are days away from the biggest game of the year. And we are in the midst of auditions for our winter musicale. This school is about more than young men in baggy shorts flinging balls for those touchdowns. <laughs> Baskets. And the West High Knights have not just saw the players for three years. Yes. And despite that consistent track record of defeat, the school still sees fit to allocate ten times as many funds to sports programs as does the arts. Win or lose, it doesn't matter. I'm teaching these kids about something that does, like setting goals and teamwork, something they can actually use as adults. Which is precisely what I am trying to instill in them. How? By having them scream at the top of their lungs? Philistine! Crackpot! Starting till her day again at a few p.m. sharp. So all you barely pursued dudes that are rather beyond your vocal cords. This is Jack Scott. Over and out. In five, four, three, two. Deeply disturbing. Go see a therapist! 
You truly have. <laughs> now for Paris auditions, we have. Let's check. Only one group signed up. Can you make sure that's right? Just, just one. Okay. Sharpay and Ryan Evans. Now what's your stuff? <laughs> what key? Hey. Thanks, but we had our rehearsal pianist make an arrangement for us. Volunteers? <laughs> Uh, um, no way. I came to, um, give you more support. You're auditioning, right? No. Your friends don't know you're here, do they? Right. You're not afraid, are you? Me? Afraid? You're the one who's afraid. I am not afraid. Are too? I'm not. I'm R2, not, I'm R2, not, I'm not. Really? Then get up there and prove it. Don't be afraid. I'll be right here. I'd like to audition with 
service. I am so sorry, my dear, but timing means everything in the world of theater. But I'm not. I called for the individual auditions, and you did not show up. There is no one to audition with you for the lead parts. I am so sorry. Miss Thurvis, I'll audition with her. Troy Volson. Where's your sport posse? <laughs> Whatever it's called. Team. But I'm here alone. Actually, I'm here to sing with her. All right, but you must know, I treat these <laughs> practices just as seriously as your father treats his little basketball recitals. I called for the lead's auditions. You weren't there. Yeah, I love Jack. Troy. So, you wrote that song Ryan Sharpage is saying? Uh-huh. And the whole show? Uh-huh. How long did that take you? About two years. <laughs> I get up at five every day before school, and I'm still working on the finale. Wow. You're so dedicated. So, why are you afraid of Sharpay then? It is your show after all. It is? Hello, thank you. Isn't the author of a playwright sort of like the, um, playmaker in basketball? Playmaker? You know, the one who makes everyone else look good. Without you, there is no show. You're the playmaker here, Kelsey. Yeah. You want to hear the way the song is supposed to sound?
call back. I mean, is she really that mad? Let's put it this way. No one has beaten Sharpay out for a musical since kindergarten. So what? Because of you, my fire, I'm gonna give Sharpay a token of my love. Look! I don't know if now's the best time to give Sharpay a key. Stop you from doing what you want to do. You're what you do, right? You're the big 
basketball <laughs> star. You love the spotlight. I'm a lot happier curling up with a good book. I think? No. Maybe? Well, I don't know, maybe. Remember in kindergarten you meet a kid who'd known nothing about them, and ten seconds later you were best friends because you didn't have to be anything but yourself? Yeah. Singing with you felt like that. Like, safe, you know? I never thought about singing before. That's for sure. But, um, when I look at you, I feel like anything's possible. So you really wanted to do callbacks? That's cool. I guess I don't want to either. No, I'm in. Really? Hey, just call me Freaky Callback Boy. You're a cool bachelor, but not for the reasons your friends think. never know what you're gonna feel You never see it coming, suddenly it's real Oh, it never even crossed my mind None I could ever, ever hope to find someone like you Oh, oh, things change when you don't expect them to Themselves. So what you're saying is that the individual must be sacrificed for the good of the whole. That's very car marks. Okay, Troy in the locker room. You guys now, Gabrielle. Whatever, just work until he breaks. Troy Bolin is my best friend. I know how to push all his buttons. Now remember, the line of c c communication is crucial to this su yeah, successful deployment of this, this, this covert. Working on it all night. My watch says, uh, <coughs> oh, 1300 hours Mountain Standard Time, of course. Save it for Charlie's Angels, Chad. Au revoir, mon ami. I love it when you speak, Chad. <laughs> Don't be sure. Something isn't right. The jocks and the brainiacs mingling in study hall? Jocks are most of the school, but they get 
Troy that shows the men covering the entire student body. And if the brainiacs get Gabriella hooked up with Troy, then the science club goes from drool to cool. Ryan, we need to save our show from people who don't know the difference between a Tony Ward and Tony Hawk. But how? Darvis, I have a plan. Lucy. She auditioned because she gave him detention. She'll never believe that. She'll believe anything I tell her because I'm the president of the drama club. The president's not supposed to lie, Sharpay. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> and the vice president's supposed to smile, sip it, and do what I tell them to do, all right? Now come on! Don't tell me 
you're good at hoops too. Yeah, I once scored 41 points at a league championship game. No way. The same day I invented the PlayStation and the iPod. <laughs> I've been rehearsing with Kelsey. I know, me too. And I was late for basketball practice twice now, so if I get kicked off the team, it's on your conscience. Hey, I didn't mean to- Ariella, chill. Sorry, miss. This is a closed practice. Dad, practice is over. Not until the last player leaves the gym. Team rules. I I'm sorry, sir. Dad, this is Gabriela Montez. Your detention, buddy. Gabriella, Hillary needs you in the lab right away. Hip hop right. I'll see you later, Troy. I'm missed to meet you, Coach Bolton. Detention was my fault, not hers. You've never missed a practice in three years, and then that girl shows up, and you're late twice. That girl is named Gabriella, and she's very nice. Making you late for practice doesn't make her very nice in my book or your team's. It's nothing. She's just a girl. But you're not just a guy. What you do not only affects this team, but the entire school. Without you completely focused, we won't win this game Friday. These things are special. They don't come along very often. A lot of things are special. If you blow this chance, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. You mean like you did? You're a playmaker, Bolton. Not a singer. You ever think maybe I can be both? And my name is Troy, not Bolton. Wildcat legends won championships, worry about some brainiac chick, or auditioning for school musicals? Do you think these paradigms of education and accomplishment concern themselves with jocks or auditioning for musicals? I don't think so! so. Championship he always dreamed of. Heartbreak Bolton. Just another lost cause, bone basketball is promised job. And you, you're the future of civilization.
into that game, then you don't know me at all. Yeah, we're counting on you. I thought you were my friend. Win together, lose together. We're counting on you. I'm for the team. I'm always for the team. So don't let us down. How about what matters for me? Just do what I tell you to do, all right? 
I'm not taking any chances, understand? That goal is mine. I was born to play it. Somebody in this room needs to calm down, sister. And it's not me. But get the roles you want. We always do. I'm not just talking about my role in the play, Ryan. I'm talking about my role in, like, the school. I'm not a jock. I'm not a brainiac. But you know what? I'm the star. That's my role. And if they take that away from me, who am I? Oh my god. You could just be Sharpay for once. It's not so bad, is it? Are you brain dead? No one's going to like me if I'm just Sharpay. But on stage, I can be Juliet. I can be any ugly. I can be anyone I want to be. Not just dumb old Sharpay. I need something to make me fabulous, Ryan. I mean, come on. They named me after a flabby dog. <laughs> Sharpay, we've had the roles every year since birth. We get the parts. Great, but if we don't, we'll still be fabulous. Trust me, it could have been way worse. I can't even be like, Shih Tzu or Pug, <laughs> Beater Dog. Troy that. Troy that thing. Yeah, well, maybe Troy would like you more if you were just yourself. <laughs> Pardon me, Dr. Phil, but what do you know? You're just a kid. I'm only eight minutes younger than you. Oh, yeah, well, those are eight important minutes. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know you guys were in here. Oh, hi, Troy! Did you come to ask my switch partners and audition with you? The answer is yes! Ryan, you're fine. <gasps> Sharpay! Um, no. Have you seen Gabriella? I need to talk to her. Who? Golden Doodle. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Troy. I saw Gabriella. She was in the practice room like ten minutes ago, maybe. Thanks, Ryan. You're all right. How can you stab me in the back like that, helping the enemy? I stabbed you in the back, Schnauzer. Why would I think? That? <laughs> well, at least you admit it. Now take it from the top and lose those jazz squares.
service. Good luck at the callbacks today. Drama Club! Chad Spelling! Chance for what, Troy? 
to make a joke out of something that means the world to me and also your fellow students who came out to audition? Yeah. But it's not a joke. I came here because I want to give it my best shot. Please, we only have a few more minutes until the lights come back on. Full house? Woo! As president of the drama club, I have to put my foot down. No preferential treatment. Those are your words, not mine. Miss <laughs> Darvis, Char wasn't trying to throw the auditions. Sharpay lied. Shut up! <laughs> Use the presidential privilege and knowingly lie to me? I didn't lie. I improvise. A riddle. A riddle. We'll talk about this later, Miss Evans. As for right now, off the stage. But I. Off the stage. Yeah. Stage is all yours, Miss Darvis.
Thanks.